Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. I'm so glad you've joined me today. Thank you so much for making this a part of your day. And hello to everyone all the way down the line. It's good to uh, be with you today as we study God's Word here in Psalm 22. We're looking today at verses 23 and 24, and we get a little taste, a little taste of the future here. Jesus is speaking here on the cross, and he says in verses 23 and 24 something that alludes to what we're going to find at the end of the psalm, a little prophecy about the creation of the church. The future is coming. Jesus knows it. He sees it. And so while he's on the cross, even though he is surrounded, he is nailed, he is going to be pierced, he's despised, they're mocking him, they're gawking at him, hanging there on the cross, yet he says, I recount your name to my brethren, and in the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. That's the end of verse 22. So we come to verse 23, and let me read this for us. The ones who fear the Lord will praise him. All the seed of Jacob, they will glorify him, even those who stand in awe of him, all the seed of Israel. For he has not despised, nor has he detested, the affliction of the afflicted. Here's our wonderful promise that I told you about yesterday. Verse 24, he has not despised, nor has he detested, the affliction of the afflicted. Friends, you think you're going through it alone? Guess what? You're not. Christian friend, he is right there with you. He is walking with you in it. Well, before I start preaching on that verse, let me go back to verse 23. The ones who fear the Lord will praise him. Now, we just had there in 22, in the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. But then he looks forward to others. And these others are who? The ones who fear the Lord. They're going to praise him. All the seed of Jacob, they're going to glorify him. Even those who stand in awe of him, So those that fear him, those that stand in awe of him, all the seed of Israel, and I think also he's considering the church here. Those who fear the Lord, they're going to come in. You know, Abraham, he's going to find a bunch of guests. They're going to come from the east and the west and sit down with him because of of the same faith as Abraham are all those who have trusted in Christ. We may not be of the same lineage. We may not be genetically in that family. But friends, the faith that we have is the same faith that Abraham had, and we're going to come and sit down with him in the kingdom. All those who fear the Lord, they will praise him. I think Jesus is looking forward to maybe anticipating this church that's going to come out of his sacrifice. The blood that he sheds waters the seed, which becomes the church. He has not despised, nor has he detested, the affliction of the afflicted. So, as I was about to preach just a moment ago, you're going through something right now, you need to understand that the Lord is with you. He was with Jesus on the cross, and I guarantee you, you're not going through the same kind of affliction he went through. No, you know what the Bible tells us? The writer to the Hebrews says that we've not suffered unto blood, unto the shedding of our own blood, in the battle against sin. But guess who has? Jesus has. And so he's the afflicted, and the Lord does not despise him. How much more is he not going to despise your affliction? Jesus went to the cross and became a curse for us because he hung on a tree. God didn't despise that affliction. No, no, no. No, he accepted that wonderful sacrifice. He looks to the poor, and he says, Come unto me, all ye that are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He's not despised you simply because you're under duress. No, that's not, no, don't even ever think that. He wants to hear you call on him. He wants to hear you say, Father, place me under the shadow of your wings, under those golden and silver pinions. Cover me. Say that to the Lord today. Now, tomorrow we're going to look at verse 25 and 26, and we're going to have a division there between 25 and 26, which I will explain tomorrow. So join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.